Hey everyone, Big Mac here. Um, I decided to let's play Hedgehog Launch. Um, this is a game that's found on the Armor Games website. Uh, I found I'm playing it on Yahoo just because that's where I found it first. Um, basically, you are a small place, a small country, trying to start up your space program, but all you have is a hedgehog, uh, a rubber band, and a couple sticks. And not that much money. So, pretty low tech here, but what you need to do is you need to try and get your hedgehog into space. I mean, that way you can say that you have a space program. You know, otherwise it doesn't really work out that well. So, a way, main way that you collect more money is you throw your hedgehog into the sky, and you try and get him to uh, get more money by landing on platforms, which for some reason are in the sky, and also grabbing a number of coins. Uh, we're just about done with this first day. You can't do too much because you don't really have that much firepower on you, or just launching power for that matter. So we're just about done here. Yeah, we're. Oh, 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 there we go. We got a $10 platform right there. That actually helped a lot. So I'll explain how you earn your money right here. Uh, basically, it's the amount of money that you collect times your height elevation. You know, your elevation has a height that'll counter go into it and then every 10 seconds that you're playing through your multiplier goes up by one so 34 times 4.9 times four bucks gets me 570 bucks for the first day that's actually pretty darn good so with that 500 500 bucks i can go ahead and buy new stuff uh i actually prefer to buy the emergency rocket right away that's just me um what the emergency rocket will do is it'll allow you to uh, launch the rocket up higher initially so I can do it like that and what that what that'll do is it'll give you a bigger boost at the at the beginning for your score so that's why I tend to use the emergency rockets like that okay why is it getting it's like getting laggy or something I have no idea um we'll see how that goes so I'm, obviously I've got a higher height oh man I missed it bugger so, yeah, I mean, this game is mostly luck. Oh, jeez, why are you lagging so much? I don't know. Sorry, this is my first real LP. I'm kind of excited about it myself. So, um, it didn't even make 500 bucks that day. That's too bad. So, other th so what I'm going to spend the money on this time is expanding my uh, launching pad here. You can see I'm a little higher up. So, hopefully that means I'll be able to fling my hedgehog a little farther. Oh, see, yeah, I'm starting at 800 before I even have to use the rocket pack. Ooh, money. Uh, the other main items that you can buy are parachutes, which will dramatically slow down the rate that you fall down. So that way, uh, instead of your height becoming your dominant factor, the uh, your time travel becomes your greatest asset. And the only problem with the parachute is that if you hit anything, any platform... It'll uh, it'll negate the it'll negate it basically. So you got to do the parachute with caution. So let's see what I got around here. Forty bucks times sixteen times four. Hey, twenty five hundred bucks. That's not bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish off buying the rockets, and then I will just upgrade on this. The other uh, upgrades that we have here is the rocket pack, so you can use less fuel as well as have higher propulsion. I tend to not use those too much, but that's just me. Uh, the radar down here, it'll allow you to see nearby platforms. So if you weren't sure whether to go to the left or the right, you know, to find the next platform, uh, that'll give you a hint as to what to do. And goggles, they just look cool. So the magic number that you want to reach in this game is 4,500 feet. Uh, that'll basically get you out of Earth's orbit regardless of what your velocity is so there's no like terminal velocity or escape velocity required if you can get up to that height you'll basically get out of orbit and then your little country will officially have a space program man seriously I hit nothing on that one that's a bummer and yeah, like I said, a lot of this is luck, and not too much skill is involved, I'm afraid. I mean, you can try different strategies, and that's what that's the where the highlight of this game is. You know, the different uh, ways you can use your upgrades. You can use parachutes, you can use, uh, you can focus your money on just buying the launchers. 
you know, different stuff like that. So, you know, people will find different ways to enjoy this game, I think. Uh, I am planning to finish this game as soon as I can. Only problem is, you can tell that some of these launches wind up taking more and more time. So, you know, I'm kind of running out of things to say here, which is not good, because this is my first LP. <laughs> Alright, looks like we've just about hit the bottom. Oh, I ha- oh my gosh, I had another rocket. I forgot I had another rocket. I am dumb. I am seriously dumb. Wow. I forgot I had another rocket. Do I have another one, too? No, that was my last rocket. Okay. Wow. That's the other way you can use a rocket. Instead of trying to get uh, a lot of initial lift off, you can use it at the end to just try and keep you in the air for a little while longer. Okay, so obviously that time I made a lot of money. 95, 22 times 9. I think I got enough to win the game now. So, we'll do that really quick. Uh, you just need your max... You don't even need to max out your launcher and your band. If you have enough rockets, uh, you can get up there with a couple with a couple upgrades down. Or a couple, couple of the downgrades, I suppose. But, basically, you've won the game. You just get to watch your hedgehog go, and we'll see the ending. He's a little happy little hedgehog, huh? For being in space. Uh, again, this is an Armor Games hedgehog launch, hedgehog launch by JMTBO2, which also has made a lot of other games. No thanks to Sugar Gliders, of course. They didn't help at all. You know when you see a shooting star? Well, now you know. Uh, my record for completing this is three days, but... I'm sure I've seen videos where people can do it in two days or one day with glitching. So, you know, it's just a cool game to check out. Uh, this is Big Mac saying, later.